not about one system to feed the world. It's not about one ring to rule them all. You know, it's, 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 and that's the sort of mentality that we have in our sort of capitalist society is that we need to have one system that works for everything. But the thing is, that's not how nature works. What's the story of your food? Tractors, chemical sprays, and acres of crops in faraway places? What if your food came from right under your feet? From edible landscapes and urban settings? What if one person could create that story? Uh, but it's not about um, um, expanding an empire, it's not about getting rich. Um, it's about providing a needed service and have the vision to see what that need is and then to have the skills to um, and hard work to follow through to bring it to fruition. And I think that's, um, that whole thing is transformative. In my hometown, there's a new story emerging and it's being led by a young urban farmer, Curtis Stone. He turns underutilized backyards into market gardens and feeds hundreds of people in the process. I don't really see spin farming or urban farming as the be end all solution for agriculture, but I see it as a solution because the more farmers we have, the more diversified we are, the more resilient we are. Of course, one farmer can't feed a million people. That's not the point. 50 million farmers can feed the world. <laughs>